You are now listening to TSLK. Now listening to TSLK. What up, fellas? What up, fellas? What is going down with everybody this evening? It's your man here in the building, the Shave Lion King, bro. And we just here to make a quick little chat, man. We're here to talk about some relevant topics that's done grabbed a lot of attention that I feel that are very, very important. As you guys know, many a times I don't hit on, you know, the satanic music industry and all of its little problems that it has in our society and the different agendas that they push out here in the world, right? And now what we're starting to see, bro, as I told you guys in one of my streams previously, that 2024 is the year of karma, bro, okay? Which equals the number eight. Let's put the numbers and add the numbers together. Two plus two equals four plus four equals eight. It's the year of karma, bro. OK, so what you're going to start seeing, man, is you're going to start seeing a lot of these celebrities, a lot of these stars having to own up for the things that they thought that they were going to get away with. OK, also what is happening behind the scenes is a lot of these people are taking falls for bigger names that they're hiding behind the veil. And I want you to understand that. And Diddy is no different. Diddy's one of these guys, bro who is taking a lot of the rap for higher up people. And I also want you to understand there's a bunch of different possibilities and there's a bunch of different outcomes that can come from this situation. OK, you could look at this also as Diddy um, doing everything that the elites told him to do. And now he is bowing out of the game in style. OK, we have uh, most of the time out here we have these people that are end up faking their deaths we have people out here that are disappearing completely off the map and we've seen it every single time at the end or at the very 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 end of these people's careers we see these type of things that happen to them and this is the same thing that's happening with diddy and i want you guys to understand that okay 
There is so many different things going on. There are so many different distractions going on right now in our society that we have to remain focused, okay? We have to remain focused, bro, on the things that are really important. But you see, when they show you things like this, they're giving you a glimpse. They're giving you parts of the puzzle that all of us are not seeing. OK, all of these things tie together and it's not ironic that these things happen one day after another or leading up to each other. So I want you guys to understand that. I want you guys to really take this really seriously. So what I'm about to do, bro, is I'm about to share the screen here, bro. And what we're going to do is for the people who have not been up on this. OK, we're going to show you all of the information that we got out okay we're going to talk about you know different people explaining the situations from their end we're also going to look at some clips of what happened in baltimore okay and we're also going to listen to some other people's opinions of what's going on but what i want you guys to understand and remain that this there's always something bigger than what they're showing us okay and i want you guys to really put your thinking caps on because everything is not as it seems all right. We also know that this situation has been going on for a long time. We've heard about all sorts of different things that these celebrities have been doing. OK, we've heard about all of these satanic parties. We've heard about all of these people coming out, telling on each other. We have all these celebrities now coming out of the closet, supposedly. We have all these different things in the news. But ultimately, what ends up happening is these things always serve for some sort of distraction all while giving you little pieces of the truth that are happening behind the scenes. So let me go ahead and play a clip really quick of this, guys. At 1.30 a.m., the Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore collapsed. What? What the Here's how the events unfolded. Maryland Governor Wes Moore said a cargo ship from Singapore called the Dolly made a mayday call when their power went out and they lost control of their vessel. They told authorities a collision was possible. And emergency personnel raced to the scene to st stop further traffic from driving onto the bridge. I need one of you guys on the south side, one of you guys on the north side, hold all traffic on the key bridge. Uh, there's a ship approaching that just lost their steering. So that until you get that under control, we got to stop all traffic. Construction workers were on the bridge at the time, pouring concrete. Uh, there's a crew up there. You might want to notify whoever the foreman is, see if we can get them off the bridge temporarily. Video shows the ship's lights go off then on again then off again just before the ship hits the column and at 1 30 a.m it hits causing people on the bridge to plummet into the river below Three thirteen dispatch the whole bridge just fell down start start whoever everybody the whole bridge just collapsed it is crazy dude as of tuesday morning authorities said two of the construction workers had been rescued from the water but six were still unaccounted for and there are 22 crew members aboard the ship, including two pilots, all of them Indian nationals and all of them uninjured. A state of emergency has been declared and an investigation is now underway. Around noon, President Biden said the federal government would pay for repairs. When asked whether the ship should be held responsible for those financial costs, he responded. Eventually, people, we're not going to wait for that happen. We're going to pay for it to get the bridge rebuilt and open. So there you got it, guys. You have President Joe Biden coming on here and announcing that this is a detrimental part of our economy. OK, right when the times we have extremely high inflation, we're having a uh, um, job crisis. OK, we're having a bunch of different identity problems in the United States. We're seeing all sorts of economic problems happening right before our eyes. And yet we also know in the midst of all these different things that was going on, all the things that were taking part in these other countries, i.e. America, having their foot in on a lot of these problems. Now, what you got to understand is a lot of these smaller countries are not or do not have the firepower do not have the militia to be able to cause huge catastrophic events over here in America. So you need to look at these things with your eyes open. Understand that attacks like 9-11, attacks that we've had all through America over the years, bro, that have had little tiny impacts were brought onto us by some sort of terrorists. And as we looked at the, er, the footage earlier today, 
All right. In Baltimore, what we did, what we do notice is we do notice that the path of that boat towards the bridge was not a natural path. We see how hard that that ship actually angles towards the bridge. OK, so this should make you guys start putting your thinking caps on. And I want you to understand the repercussions that are going to come from this. As I said, we're in a we're in a time now where we're we're trying to avoid a government shutdown. We're trying to, as Americans, we're, we're feeling like our government isn't serving us to the highest extent, okay? Now what we're having to deal with is we're having to deal with help from the government, okay? This is not going to be us taking on this big project and be able to fix this bridge, fix this port, bro, that is super important, bro, to our economy. You got to understand there is a lot of foreign goods that are crossing over this barrier, okay? that is now been destroyed. And we're talking about years here of rebuilding and putting this bridge back together. Now you understand there's going to be some serious repercussions. What are some of those repercussions? Well, you're going to have a, a low stock on goods. Okay. Things are going to go up in price. All right. People's rents are going to skyrocket. Gas is going to go out of control again. And this is all happening before the election, okay? So the problem what we have to see as Americans and we have to understand that there's all sorts of distractions going on. And the most of the time we get all these distractions from these people in Hollywood, bro, you have to understand that there is always something going on behind the veil. 99.9% .9 of the time, what I've seen with my own two eyes is the outcome of different things that happen when these people are coming out in the, in the, in the, uh, in the news and being so-called exposed. Okay. Earlier, we also had a problem with T.D. Jakes. A lot of you guys understand who T.D. Jakes is. T.D. Jakes came out in a claim with him and Diddy. Him and Diddy were supposed to be having a, allegedly a so-called affair, okay, a, a so-called love relationship, okay? And we've seen what happened shortly after that. So here is my stance on this whole thing. You guys got to understand this, bro, okay? I really want you to understand this. From the time we started seeing Joe Biden falling, okay, this is very symbolic. The time we started seeing Joe Biden falling, okay, walking upstairs. Let me ask you a question. How many times have we seen our president fall? And most of you guys try to think this is because he has some kind of equilibrium problem. And they that might held hold true. OK, but what's really going on is everything that they show us with perfect camera angles, with perfect footage, OK, has a, a bigger, bigger symbolic reading. OK, and what is happening is it's slowly showing you what is happening to Babylon. It is show is slowly showing you what's happening to the United States. We also know that our dollar has taken a huge hit. OK. This is in the news. This is not me saying anything, okay? We also know that we're in a time where, where the dollar is probably about to be weaned out and a new currency is about to come in. We've heard about BRICS. We've heard about all of these different things. And you have to understand that this is all a part of the new world order and where things are going. We've been talking about this for years. But what you guys have to understand is you have to see how it's all coming together. It's all symbolic. The fall of America is unfolding right in front of our eyes, okay? We are in need of help as a nation, okay? We have tons of homelessness. We have tons of crime going on, okay? And we now have a so-called immigration problem, okay? All of these things that are going on here is symbolic of one thing that our great nation has fallen. It's been written. OK, we've read about it in the good books. All right. All of these things is happening. OK, and you have to get prepared. This is the biggest point that I want to get to you is you have to get prepared. Let me tell you a quick story. So the other day I was out, I was out doing some deliveries and I got a really strange delivery. OK, and what was this really strange delivery? Well, I got this really strange location to go and deliver a super amount of water. I'm talking about, guys, I'm going to show a picture in my community post of how much water that this person bought. 
Okay. And you have to understand they had just given us a warning about this new solar eclipse that's coming up. Okay. The solar eclipse is supposed to be coming out. You have kids that are going to be not being able to go to school. They they bring in the national guard. You're hearing all these people telling you, you need to have food and water stacked up for, you know, X name amount of days. Okay. And we've been hearing this for years. We've been hearing this since COVID. But the problem what I want, want you guys to understand is you got to understand is that these things are coming quicker and quicker. OK, and when they come out in the news and they give you warnings as such, it's very important for you to take heed. So if you want my opinion on this situation, you need to be getting ready. You need to be getting prepared for what can possibly happen, okay? We've heard about the, the power possibly going out. We've heard about we're going to possibly lose cell phone service. You guys saw the crash of AT&T, okay, where AT&T crashed and none of, their, their, none of their phones were working for, you know, a couple days, okay? These are all hints. These are all tests to see what and how it is that we're going to react to these things. All right. And what you saw is you saw many people cannot live their lives normally now without their cell phone. OK, there are so many different things connected to their cell phones. If their cell phone goes out, you know, a lot of people are going to be out of work. A lot of people are not going to be able to, you know, respond to their jobs. So what I'm seeing, bro. From my standpoint, with my third eye looking at this thing is we are getting closer and closer to the end of what it is that we've been talking about for years. I want you guys to understand this is not a joke. OK, we're only going to get so many warnings. I re recently went and saw a movie. I went and saw the new Ghostbusters movie. OK, and in this Ghostbusters movie, of course, what you're seeing is you're seeing an apocalyptic event just like they show us in many of these movies, okay? Leave the World Behind, a new movie that was created by Barack Obama, okay? And the same thing was happening in this Barack Obama movie. And we've seen all, all the different things that Barack Obama has been tied to, okay? He's been tied to a bunch of nefarious things, okay? But yet and still, he is always there putting out these movies that show us these truths and plain sights, bro, that are not a coincidence. Okay. And this is the same thing that I picked up when I was watching this Ghostbusters movie. Okay. This is the same thing happening in the Ghostbusters movie, an apocalyptic event where all the power goes out. Okay. Because of some kind of electromagnetic magnetic storm. Okay. And what has it, what they've been telling us, they've telling us that these CMEs are coming off the sun. OK, we are being hit every single day with high levels, OK, of C CME activity. OK, and what we also know that is when eclipses happen, OK, the same things can happen. But yet they've been telling us for weeks now that during this solar eclipse, you're going to have the most military activity that we've had in the United States in a very long time. All right. And the warnings are to prepare. OK, to prepare. How many different times have we seen this? How many different times have they come out with TV shows? How many different times that you see people creating channels talking about preppers? All of this stuff is preparing us for uh, something that many of us thought that was never going to happen. Well, I'm here to tell you and I'm here not to shake up your world. I'm here to wake you up. It's time for us to start getting prepared, okay? The grid could go down, okay? We are getting attacked daily. We are in the midst of a silent war, okay? World War III, this is what we're in. World War III is not going to be bombs and nukes. World War III is going to be a much tactical war. OK, it's going to involve people coming over as immigrants disguised as immigrants, but are really some kind of agents that are going to infiltrate. OK, what it is that we got going on over here, because we're so comfortable on our high horses here in America that we think no one can touch us. And this is what I want you guys to really start being prepared, because these warnings come for a reason. And like I said, on this delivery that I was making, I was making a super abnormal delivery to a government building, okay? I'm talking about I had to go into Walmart, bro, 
and I had to get 12 plus cases of 50 bottle waters, okay, and deliver them to a government building, okay? And when I tell you when I went to this building, this building looked like some kind of asylum, okay? The doors were all locked up. They were had big, huge steel doors. They had these tiny little windows with all these kind of cages on them. They had crazy security, okay? And this is all happening weeks before this eclipse where they're trying to tell us that these things are going to happen, all right? You've been hearing it for a very, very long time, and now is the time, okay? This is the time to get prepared. This is the time, you guys, to stay focused on what really is going on, okay? You must understand all of these things are symbolic of one thing and one thing only, the fall of Babylon. We know this. It's been in our good books. A lot of us are, are tapped into that information. A lot of us can see with our third eyes on what has been transpiring in our society over the years. We are constantly being downgraded from this, this top tier status. Okay. We have a homeless epidemic. Wherever you go in, in any of these major cities, we have a drug epidemic, okay? The people are literally being destroyed from the drugs to from the food and from the different agendas that are putting on our society. A lot of people out here, bro, are just not with it and they are not going to be prepared for these things when they come to happen, all right? And this is why they are calling in the National Guard because guess what? If something does take place. If that solar event really happens the way it's supposed to be, what does that ultimately mean? That ultimately means that our defenses are down. You must understand that. We're in the midst of a war and our defenses are down. If the electrical grid goes down, if anything like that is going to make us vulnerable, and this is why they are now preparing for this event like such. So I really want you guys to understand that if you have the, the money, if you have, you know, whatever you have right now, I would say, take that and invest it, invest it in some food, invest it in some water, invest it in something that's going to give you some proper lighting. And guess what, guys, if this day comes and goes, there's no problem. The only thing that you're going to know is that you're going to know that you're going to be able to still be prepared for that day when it comes because it's coming. All right. It, the people are out here are being prophets for a reason. OK, the world has gone through so many different transformations. And guess how many different people will not ready for the things that the people were preaching. OK, and I like to use the good book for reference. Think about all the people that were warned about the great flood when the great flood was going to come. Think about all the people that were out here telling people people were crazy. Think about all those different things that we see. OK, we get the warning years before normally before anything happens. And we've been having these warnings, um, you know, brought to us for the longest time, you guys. All right. <laughs> you got to understand this. This has been happening for the longest time. All right. And now it is time to get prepared. How do we know this? Because we're in the midst of a silent war. We're in the midst of being attacked on our own grounds. Okay. This has been going on for a very long time. Just because 9-11 ended doesn't mean that the war, the silent war is over. As I explained to you guys, it's very hard for these smaller countries to do any kind of major attacks on our grounds. And when we see things like this happen, bro, okay, we know this is out of the normal. We know all the preparations that our Americans do. We, we know we would be ready for something like this if it were to come into fruition. But unfortunately, guys, the different things that have been happening, the two bridges in one day, okay, that's a major sign that some things are going to be happening, all right? And we've been talking about the devil's comet. We've been talking about the solar eclipse that is supposed to happen, okay? And you've heard our own government come out and give this warning, okay? They've only gave this warning a couple times. And last time what happened, we weren't prepared. We got hit with COVID. OK, so what you got to understand is you got to put yourself in the right position. You have to be smart. Use your resources 
all right, to make sure you're going to be comfortable in a time where you're not going to be able to rely on going out in the society, okay? We are in those times, all right? And the next thing that I want to tell you guys is I want to tell you guys that, I want to tell you guys that honestly, in my opinion, in my, this is just my opinion, and I know a lot of you guys out there are going to be on the same page as me, okay? You see what's going on. You have read your Bible. You have read your good books. You have, you know that when things like this start happening, okay, they are happening for a reason. We have brought this on to, we have brought this on ourselves. We have all mentally, believe it or not, manifested the downfall of this corruption in this world. This is, this is our doing. Okay. There's a lot of people out here that are in terrible positions. There's a lot of people out here struggling. There are more people struggling in America than doing good, okay? I want you to understand that. There are more people struggling than doing good. So where does that put us in a mental psyche? How are we perceiving our world at this time? Why is offing people such at a high rate? Why are people offing themselves at a, such a high rate? Why is there so much crime? Why are we being taught about UFOs and aliens if this is not the end times, you guys? And this is why I want you to stay sharp. This is why I want you to prepare, okay? And even if something does not go down on these days, you are not, you're not, you're going to be uh, safer than sorry, okay? But I have a gut feeling. I have a gut feeling that on that day of the eclipse or days shortly after or days before, there is going to be something else that takes place, okay? Another hit to our infrastructure. And if you think that these things do not affect you, you are sadly mistaken, okay? As I said, there is going to be some major repercussions from that bridge being damaged, we might not see it at this moment, but I promise you in the next six months to a year, you are going to feel these repercussions and they are going to affect you 100%. So just get prepared. Dylan says, there is no such thing as coincidences. Wonder what they are trying to distract us from. Well, like I said, Dylan, my, my two cents is they're trying to distract us from the silent war, okay? You, I just gave you guys the golden goose egg, okay? You have a silent war taking place. You got to understand that we used to be a sleeping giant. We used to be the perennial powers, okay? And if you were going to attack a giant, you wouldn't attack the giant head on. You would use some kind of plan. You would come in disguise. You would use a really strategic plan to bring down a superpower. And this is what you're seeing. And if you notice that the number one ways that people used to be brought down was AKA spies. Spies are probably the most valuable tool in the, in, in the, um, in the art of war. And the reason why that is, is because, like I said, spies infiltrate, they get information, they find out the weaknesses, and they attack those weaknesses. And what did we see here in the bridge destruction? We saw either, it could have either been someone hijacked it, okay? AI could have hijacked it. Someone, someone could have hijacked it because we didn't even have the proper tools in order to make sure a disaster like that didn't happen. There was no tugboats. There was no warning boats. There was no horns going off. We're seeing the power go on and off on a huge ship that's probably checked just as much as airplanes before they take flight. But yet and still, we still had some kind of a, a, of a nasty accident, which I do not believe you go. We're talking about the military here. We're talking about, you know, we're talking about, you know, our United States, bro. Okay. 
that type of thing does not just happen. Okay. This thing's happen for a reason. But like I said, if you look at it with a third eye open, bro, what you're going to see is you're going to see, bro, these things are happening because we have been infiltrated. We've been infiltrated for years. There's different things that have been going on. But now that we had that open border, okay, we had all these different people coming in, okay? You guys have heard who were the people that were being identified. They are all young men between the ages of 20 and 25, okay? All look like military type men, okay? This is showing you what is going on here. Okay, what is going on here is we have been penetrated. Okay, we are now vulnerable. We have now received a virus, and this virus is going to slowly take us apart. And like I said, we've had the warnings for a very long time, guys. They've told you that our dollar is not worth what it is anymore. We haven't, we've cut off uh, certain trades with certain countries. Certain countries have dropped all full U.S. stock. Certain countries are not dealing with the U.S. dollar. Certain countries are now creating their own currency. And when you have these type of things going on, you guys, when you have these things type of going on, bro, what, what you're starting to see is you're starting to see that everything here that they're trying to project to you is not what it seems. And that is what's going on here in America. Truth and Broadcasting Station says everything spotlighted on TV is a lie and is a hoax from the true agenda behind the event. And that's what I'm saying. That's exactly what I'm saying. And this is exactly what I've seen for a very, very long time. You guys, you know, you remember I did a live stream many years ago before, you know, right before they shadow banned my channel. Okay, I was one of the only people on here giving it raw and telling you about things that were going to happen. I guarantee you, if you go back and watch that video that's four and five years old, you're going to see how many things are relevant that I said four or five years ago that are now happening today. And this is what I'm telling you. All right. You always get the warning, usually if you're lucky, years and years before disaster strikes. OK, and we've had this warning going on for the longest time. OK, we have been talked uh, taught about CMEs for a very long time. We have been taught that we are in the middle of global warming. We have been taught that any given time our grid can take a major strike. OK, and we could go back to the Stone Ages in a snap of a finger. All right. And this is what's happening. This is what they're trying to give us warning for. There are so many articles of the government going and making, um, you know, uh, bunkers inside of mountainsides. All right. And they're stuffing them in full of food. Go do your research. I've already done it. I told you I was infatuated with these things for years. I've been doing this research for a very long time. And what I'm telling you in from my heart, I have a gut feeling that something is going to be happening. Okay. Whether that's going to be, you know, disastrous for, for many Americans or it's going to be something that critically dam damages our infrastructure, okay? But the, regardless of the fact, all of these things are going to end up affecting us. Dylan says, not to mention the government... The government is flooding our country to illegal immigrants and paying them for housing. What's going on? And again, that's all. We can only speculate on the reason why they're doing those things. But this is this again. It's if you really think about it, it can be really common sense. Wouldn't you want to have many people here for a party? Wouldn't you want to have as many people as you can here for a party? So if we're in the mix of a silent war, World War Three. OK, we're having all these different type of attacks happen to us. And now we have a problem where we are not to, not even able to regulate our own borders. And if you think for one second that our enemies, OK, terrorists, people are not watching this, you've lost your mind. OK, and this is what they're doing. They have infiltrated us, okay? And now that this is happening, like I said, you're going to start seeing more and more of these different type of things going on, bro, okay? I promise you 
that it is 2024. And I want you to think about how many things have already happened here in the beginning of 2024, you guys. Okay. It's been worse than 2023 already, and it's just begun. All right. And now what you're about to have here is you're about to have this solar eclipse. All right. And this solar eclipse, bro. All right. They're, they're telling you, they're telling you that the national guard and the military are going to be all over the United States during this date. Okay. So what does that tell you? What, if, if it was really just supposed to be an eclipse, if they were really just preparing for something like an eclipse that we've seen many, many times for many, many years, and there's never been anything destructive. What, what, what do you think that they're trying to tell you? What is the hint that they're trying to give you? And the hint that I'm trying to give you is if the, if the so-called is going to be a so-called darkness, okay, we've heard about three days of darkness. I'm not telling you this is going to happen. I'm just telling you all the different things you need to think about. OK, if there's going to be some kind of darkness, if there's going to be some kind of possibility that we lose, you know, our grid, we lose power. OK, we've already had many, many different cyber attacks. Think about all the cyber attacks that we've had already in 2024. Come on, guys, keep up. Think about it. Oh, I know you've been bombarded with so much information this year that some of it might have slipped your brain. But I'm sitting here and I'm, you know, I'm regurgitating all the different things that have been happening. OK, and it's a reason why they've been happening. OK, and what I'm telling you is it is a reason. OK, they are coming out and telling us this. OK, even if something does not happen per se on that day, I want you to keep an eye on the fact on what's going to happen before and what is going to happen after always stay with your eyes locked to the news, because I promise you there is going to be something that comes about from this. Okay. I hope, and I pray that nothing happens to us, you know, war wise, and we don't get attacked and we don't become vulnerable. Okay. But for, if you were going to ask me the truth, if you, there's a reason why they're doing this, OK, there is a reason why they're doing this. OK, and you need to get prepared. OK, you need to get prepared. I want you to think about it. If the grid goes down and it's a high possibility because this is what solar uh, solar um, storms cause. OK, they cause CMEs, they cause electrical grids to fail. OK, I want you to think how vulnerable we would be. It's a reason why they're telling you that kids are not going to school that day. Okay. Come on now. How many times do they hold kids out of school for solar eclipses? All right. How many times do they hold kids out of school period? Unless they have some kind of information or some kind of Intel on what could possibly happen. Say so that is the problem. And that's what I want you guys to stay focused on. What up, Kyle? He says, sub there. It's been a while since I've seen you live. Appreciate you for being in here tonight, bro. Appreciate you, ma'am. Truth and Broadcasting Station says, I always heard a lisp on TV Jakes when I listened to him back before 2020. And you know what's crazy, bro? As I said, you know, you know what's crazy, bro, is there's so many different people connected to these circles. OK, you're going to start seeing more and more people come out. OK, you're going to hear more and more people supposedly, you know, receive their karma. But the biggest pictures I want you to, to understand is somebody had to start this cult. Somebody had to create all of these rituals. Somebody had to create all these different things that these people had to go through. And I'm here to tell you right now, all the people that they're showing us on the forefront are just fall men for the people who actually created all this. And this is what you're seeing. OK, these people that we will never see, these people, these people in suits and ties that are multi billionaires that we will never see, bro, or having people taking downfalls for them when they were involved in the exact same thing, because they're the people who created it. OK, they're the people who allowed it. I want you to understand that these secret societies have been going on for many, many years, and there's never, ever been anything that came out. 
okay, about the people who so-called created these groups. But what you do see is you do see a bunch of fall people. You do see a bunch of people who are lower on the totem pole that end up taking the fall for the people that actually created all this madness. All right. And that's what I want you to stay focused on. And that's where I want your brain to go. Okay. Cause like I said, Diddy is nothing but a pawn. Okay. And maybe for this fall, he's probably earning his freedom in so many words. Okay. And this is why he was allowed to flee. Okay. I, I just recently saw some information on TikTok where they supposedly arrested Diddy but when you look at the picture of Diddy, I challenge you guys to go over to TikTok after the stream and look up the new photos of Diddy being arrested. And you try to tell me with your third eye that that is actually P. Diddy who they arrested. OK, they've came out with movies called They Clone Tyrone. OK, they've came out with all these different movies that have shown us that cloning is possible. They have been doing cloning for years. And if you think they're going to let. OK. One of their top people, so-called Diddy, okay? Because like I said, he's the he's the master. He's the master. He's the gatekeeper, okay, of, of the music industry. And he's deal, done with, dealt with tons of people. He's dealt with likes of Usher, supposedly had a relationship with. Usher ended up bringing Justin Bieber to, to Diddy. And you heard what Justin Bieber came out and said. OK, so you're seeing all of these different things take place, bro. But what I want you to honestly keep your focus on and try to dive into who actually is the real problem. And if I were to give you one of these names, you would probably be able to go out and do your research a little better. And I'm going to do that. One of the na names that I want you guys to look into and look up, I want you to look up a guy named Clive Davis. You haven't heard anything about Clive Davis. But if you go listen to Whitney Houston before she died, okay, you go listen to Bobby Brown, you go listen to all these people, bro, who gave information up about these higher up people always end up D-E-A-D, -E bro, or missing, all right? Their lives get destroyed, all right? They get, they get made out to be a junkie, a druggie, all right? This is what's happening, okay? So there's a lot of stuff going on here. And I get and I, and I and I get it why people are so involved, you know, in what these people are doing. All right. Because it does have a lot of connections on what's going to transpire in our society. And, and they some of it is important and, and most of it is distractions. But something like this that happens so many days in between, okay, these uh, these so-called accidents is no coincidence. And this is what we need to stay alert to. <laughs> Mark says, Cyborg Van Dam, tell it, bro. <laughs> Universal soldiers, bro. They were, hey, they were telling you right there in that movie, too, on, on how they're trying to create the human race, bro. Okay. Everything is about AI technology now. Everything's about trying to make, you know, human beings cyborgs, bro. Okay. I, this is what they're they're trying to do. Okay, I'm, I'm glad you brought that up, bro. Truth and Broadcasting Station says Francis Key Scott wrote the Star Bang Star Spangled Banner, destroying the bridge is symbolic of the country, symbolic on the falling the falling of this country. They know what they're doing. F the sheep that can't see what's going on. Absolute facts, bro. And I appreciate you for saying that, man. That's actually 100% true, okay? Because that's who wrote the Star Spangled Banner, all right? And if you listen to all these little things that we were taught to, think about the, think about the song London Bridge is Falling Down, okay? London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. You've all heard that as a kid. OK, and what we're starting to see with our own two eyes is a lot of things that we were told were younger. OK, actually happening in the real world. All right. So nothing that we've ever been told, like I said, they have to. It's called truth in plain sight It's called lesser magic. It does not work. They're not able to continue to do what it is that they're doing without telling us in some sort of way. This is why I told you guys movies are very important. I know most of us think that movies are garbage and I think they're garbage per se too. But what I usually go to see the movies for, especially when it's a big attraction movie, okay, is I go and watch it for the messages. 
I want you guys to understand this. I'll give you another key hint. Let's think about when we watched the movie Mario Brothers, okay? All of us saw that movie Mario Brothers, that movie that just recently came out that was the Mario Brothers. What happened in the Mario Brothers? What ended up happening? Well, what ended up happening in the Mario Brothers is what? New, New York City ended up flooding. Am I lying? Is that not what happened in the movie Mario Brothers? And I know all of you have seen it, okay? That's exactly what happened. And let me ask you what happened months and months after that Mario Brothers movie came out. What happened to New York? New York was underwater. New York was underwater. And it looked almost identical as what they showed us in the Mario Brothers movie. If you think I'm capping, like I said, bro, look, there's so much shit here that's it. I don't need to sit here and act like it's not true, okay? I've seen enough to know that every single thing that they show us on TV, every single thing that these celebrities tell us in their songs, you got to listen to their music. You got to listen. You got to watch their movies because they're always giving you some sort of hints on what is going to transpire in our future. And it happens. I've seen it. Okay. I've been on this, this planet a long time. I have a lot of wisdom. I have a lot of experience. Okay. And what I've noticed is a pattern of when these things happen, bro, they end up happening in the real life. So I want you guys to stay focused. The eclipse, the three days of darkness. Now look, the thing about the eclipse and the things about the three day of darkness is like, is like this, bro. Okay. The possibility is there. Okay. I just explained to you on how solar storms work. I explained to you on how CMEs work. I explained to you on how we are in a huge, huge solar uh, storm cycle. Okay. The sun is acting crazy. Okay. It's been blasting all sorts of, of flares off of the uh, sun and then they've hit our earth. Okay. We've had tremendous problems with our, um, our cell phone services. Okay. We've had many of problems where small cities and towns have lost complete power. We had a solar storm, um, not too long ago. I maybe about a few months ago, and I live in a small town. I told you guys, I live in a very, very small town. And that day that they told us that that solar storm was hitting and it was going to be shooting flares here to the earth, we end up losing power, complete power in two major cities around here. Okay. And the, their explanations for it, nobody had an explanation for it. But if you look into what the government had told us, the news outlets had told us, they told us, okay, in the small writing, <laughs> they told us in the small writing that these things were a possibility and these were small storms. So what I'm telling you is the, the solar eclipse and when that happens, the possibility, the things that are going to transpire, okay, the worst case scenario, okay, is we're going to be hit with even a bigger storm. OK, and, the, and and this is why they're getting prepared for it, because they've not seen a storm to this nature. And this is why they're preparing, because if it, in fact, does happening, we are going to be vulnerable. All right. We are going to be vulnerable. OK. And if I was a terrorist, OK, if I was someone trying to attack a superpower, a sleeping giant, OK, I'm going to be strategic knowing that this is a big possibility that I could come in and do something to the infrastructure, okay? If not, all these other small attacks that we are having there are going to be minuscule. They're going to be covered up by accidents like, you know, the Baltimore, the bridge, okay, 9-11, okay? All of these small little attacks that we are having done on us, okay, are going to be tiny, all right, compared to what could happen if this does to pan out to be like they planned. It's a fact. He says, Diddy thing just wasting energy. It's a fact. It's a fact. But that doesn't negate the reason why they are doing it. Because it's distracting us from the other things that are taking place. The more that we keep feeding into these particular type topics, they're going to keep doing things on the backside, okay? And we've seen that happen time and time again, okay? So they are important. 
especially when they're using big fall names like Epstein, right? Disney, all right? Diddy, okay? Big names like that, bro, are worth paying attention to because there's always going to be something big that happens because of it. Invest in some land. That would be nice, but most American people are living paycheck to paycheck, bro. Okay. That's a statistic. That's a fact. Most people can't even afford to put groceries in their refrigerator. Okay. Most people can't even afford to have a full tank of gas. All right. People are struggling here in America. Okay. Most people are not going to be able to invest in anything. All right. And this is just the facts, bro. Okay. I'm not saying that there isn't people out there that, that have it together. I'm telling you what the majority is okay you can look that those numbers up yourself okay most of the people in this world in this uh america are living paycheck to paycheck okay most people don't even have money in their savings account okay most people don't even have a quarter tank of gas in their car okay this is really what's going on out here all right and hopefully things get better but like i said man right now what we're dealing with bro <sighs> You know, we're going to have to eventually bond together as people. I really foresee the future going back to the times where people are going to have to barter for goods, which would could be turn out to be a good thing. Of course, this is not what the government wants. This is not what the powers that be want. But eventually the people are going to have to come together for a common good and realize that all of us, despite of our skin color, okay, are all affected by the same things that are going on out here. Okay. And it's just a matter of time before everybody, I don't care how much money you got. Okay. It's just a matter of time for everybody out here is going to be affected in the same way. But hopefully by that time, like I said, we'll be awake enough to understand to come together there, bro, and do what we got to do to survive. Truth and Broadcasting Station says the homeless man is going to laugh at the helpless sheep to helpless sheep to can't live without technology. Facts, bro. Facts. Because, you know, that's what we could possibly go back to. It's in our future. Okay. We're talking about scientists. We're talking about, you know, People who are very high up in, 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 in very powerful positions who oversee weather change and different things that happen in our society, then they've all given us the warning, okay? They've all given us the warning that this is a huge possibility, okay? So you guys just stay prepared. Understand that, you know, we're in those times, man. We are in those times. And if you want to look at it, the positives is this is what we wanted. Okay, this is what we want. And we're getting closer and closer to what it is that we want. And that what we want is freedom. What we want is equality. Okay, what we want is truly a place where people can all thrive together and everybody can have equal amounts of what it is they want. There's enough resources on this planet for everybody to live higher. But the problem is these people who have created this so-called fake reality, bro, have created different structures and levels. And they understand that having rich and poor people create more money, create more problems, create more depression. Okay. Like I said, they're not, they're trying to destroy this place as best as they can. And they're doing a very good job. But like I said, eventually what's going to happen eventually, and it's written, it's written. Eventually, what's going to happen is this system is going to fail. And we are lucky enough to be alive during these times to witness the fall of something great that used to be great. Okay. It used to be considered great. All right. So just stay strong and be prepared for whatever comes, you guys. Donald, what's happening, my man? Donald says, what's up? With, what's up with my dog? I'm doing good, bro. Good to see you in here, Donald. Man, I appreciate the uh, support, bro. I've been checking you out. You're doing your thing, bro. Stay strong, my guy. Stay grind. What's up, man? What's up? <laughs> he got the thumbnail. <laughs> That's funny, bro. He got the thumbnail of the, of the king in there, man. That's crazy, bro. <laughs> what's up with you, man? 
Truth and Broadcasting says the year of the dragon 2000 Y2K 2012. The mind calendar ends 2024. We are here. Absolute facts. I love you, man. I love you, Truth and Broadcasting Station, man. You're a smart dude, bro. That's indeed what we is. Okay. 2012 is actually really 2024. I've broke this down before. Okay. It's the end of the mind calendar. Okay. We are now 5,000 uh, years plus. Okay out of the last time, you know, that civilization, okay, lost everything, okay? And you can do this research yourself, all right? 5,000 years, go look it up. The last time that we had a great reset, the last time where we don't have any information of the people, you know, that were here before us, it was 5,000 years ago. And guess what we're, we're in right now? Guess what timeline we're in right now? I kid you not on my life. We're in that 5,000 year period. And this is what I'm saying. This is why you're seeing all these different things happening. And the reason why I think, you know, the things are accelerating up as such is because the people who are controlling this chessboard know inevitably what's going to happen. And what they're going to do is they're going to create their own havoc on the way to the ending. Okay. And this is what, I believe a thousand percent is what we're seeing. Okay. These people know why, because they're the people who conquer. They have all of the scrolls. They have all of the hidden books. They have all of the knowledge that they gain after they conquered. Okay. The people who conquer were able to go into all these caves, find all these hieroglyphics, steal all the information from the people that were here before us, bro. So they are already ahead of the game. They already know what's going on out here. All right. And that's what I want you guys to really see. OK, they know what's going on out here. And this is the reason why they're able to play their game to the level is they do because they have the information. Truth Broadcaster says, says locking your seed. We got to be extra strong for this bull. We do, bro. And I'm glad you said that. I'm glad you said that. The, the, what I want you guys to understand right now, we're, we're in a time of energy. Energy is important, okay? Energy is important, and it's a reason why the Most High God is sitting up here talking about seed retention, okay? Because your energy is super, super important, okay? I want you to understand that during this time, your energy is super important. You don't want to be a low vibrational bot during this time, okay? Why? Because solar flares, uh, sun activity, okay? is known to make people irritable, okay? Let me give you a prime example. If you were to take some regular ants, right? You take some regular ants, you put an ants underneath of a, a clear bowl. You put the bowl on top of them in a, on a hot summer day and you watch how the ants react inside of that hot bowl. What you're going to see is you're going to see the ants get irritated. The ants are going to start acting out of character. The ants are going to start attacking each other. The ants are going to start acting crazy. OK, this is the same thing that we're happening. Our planet is heating up. OK, and it's a, one of the main reasons why they're spraying. OK, we talked about why they're spraying. They're spraying for multiple different reasons. They're spraying to cover the things up in the sky so you can't see it. They're spraying to keep the planet cool. Right. Because you got to understand they're down here, too, as well. They're down here trying to thrive and live just like we are. OK, and the people that so happen to take over. All right are trying to prolong as long as they can. But what it ultimately ends up happening, okay, like I said, that 5,000-year cycle, what ends up happening, that, that sun ends up coming back and destroying a lot of things, okay? They always say the sun is usually responsible for what happens to our society. It's what ends up ultimately taking us out, okay? So they know what's going on. All right. And it's a reason why they're doing what they're doing, because, like I said, they're trying to prolong what's going on here. And this is why they are doing all these different things. OK, it's not rocket science. OK, you understand what time that we're in. OK, you if you've done your research, OK, if you've done your diligence, if you've worked on yourself, if you've looked within for the answers, OK, you will end up finding that the truth is this. OK, the truth is we are in those times, you guys. OK, and you must be prepared. You must get your energy right. OK, you must vibrate as high as possible. Why? So you can be chosen. OK, so you will have mercy. So the the creator, the universe, the, the planet will have mercy on you. OK, that is what we're here for. OK, this is the year of karma. All right. It's a reason why the people are all getting their karma because there has to be a balance. 
All right. That's the way the world works. These people are all related. Facts. So-called elite bloodline with different names. Alec Baldwin, Tom Brady's father, but really his mother because Alec is inverted. <laughs> oh, man, the rabbit hole goes deep. Bro, you ain't never missed, man. You ain't never missed. And you know what? We've talked about all that stuff before. We've, we've dove into that topic many a times. And, you know, you're right about that. Okay. But still, the truth of the matter is this. All of those people are involved in this satanic world one way or another. All these people have done the rituals. All these people have done what it is that they needed to do to make sure that they remained okay in a high position in this world. Okay. But now what's happening, like I said, everything is being exposed. Okay. It is the year of karma. Okay. 2024 is the year of karma. And what is happening is you're having a bunch of people who are thought they were untouchable. Okay. Are going to receive their karma. And this goes for the people that we don't see as well. This goes for the people who are above them. These goes for the people that they're, they're the, being the fall guy for the people who are really responsible. Everybody is going to receive their karma. Okay. Karma does not miss. Okay. Karma does not discriminate. Okay. Karma is not evil. Karma is balance. What you put out, you will get back. And that is the facts. Manhattan is an island. She's going to be underwater sooner than later. So many movies depicting that. Some ways, tons of movies depicting that the nine one one. Hey, bro, that's the truth. That's the truth, bro. And like I said, bro, man, let me tell you what they also showed you in the Ghostbusters movie. So I, like I said, I went and saw the new Ghostbusters movie. Guess what else they're showing you? They're also showing you that New York is going to be over underwater again. Okay, there was a scene in Ghostbusters where there's a huge flood okay and like i told you new york is 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 this is why so many things happen in new york because new york happens to be uh this the the city of choice it happens to be the area of choice on what these people are going to open up and you know show the world what it's about to experience new york has been chosen for that and in every movie that i've ever seen bro think about it 2012 Okay. Think about the movie 2012. What happened in the movie 2012? Did they not show you that there was going to be a mass flood? Did they not show you that that water was going to take over the city? Did they not show you that there was going to be a major earthquake come into fruition? Okay. We are in those times, bro. And we got so many other things. I want you guys to understand this before I get out of here. I want you to understand that you have so many things that are possibilities. OK, when these this 11.0 earthquake hits, OK, there's going to be an 11.0 earthquake. Look it up. They are already predicted it. Look it up. We're talking about scientists. This ain't no bro science. There's going to be an 11.0 earthquake that affects affects the whole country. OK, and when that happens, think about all the different things that are going to happen as a reaction to that. We have Yellowstone that is about to blow its top, okay? We have all these different places sitting on the fault lines, right? They have new maps. They have new maps of the future United States. Look it up. They have new maps of the future United States circulating all over the internet. And what does this symbolize? What does it show you? It shows you that the coastlines are completely submerged in water, okay? And if you were to do your research and you were to see that these fault lines are literally sitting over granted, meaning they're not, they're not stationary. Okay. But it's, they're, it's not stationary. So when we have an earthquake of that magnitude, it is going to shake this place to the ground. Okay. And what are the, one of the major things that causes earthquakes is what we've learned in the 21st century is what? solar flares. And I just sat there and told you that we're in one of the worst solar sun cycles that we've ever seen. The highest numbers off the chart. 
And here we are having these eclipses where the solar activity is supposed to be damn near at its peak. And this is why they are getting prepared and they're doing the things that they're doing, you guys. They are warning us. We've been hearing this warning for many, many years, okay? We've had prophets come many, many times in the, in the past and they've warned people about what was to come and people always thought it was a bunch of crap. And what, the, what ends up happening is those people end up losing their lives who were unprepared, okay? So what I'm telling you, I'm not trying to scare you. I'm trying to prepare you. Okay, start stocking up now. Okay, water at the bare minimum is what you want to have. Okay, at least enough water to last you a month. Okay, at least it isn't going to hurt you to go buy a couple racks of some bottled water and let it sit in your house. Okay, because you never know when you're going to need it. All right, and also, like I said, stock up on some things that are going to give you some light just in case the power does go out because this is what they are predicting. Okay. These are, this isn't something I'm just saying off the top of my head. This is what they're predicting. Okay. So be prepared. You guys understand that we are living in these times. You guys, we are living in these times and guess what? You need to be prepared. Okay. Or it's better to be safe than sorry. So that's all I wanted to tell you guys tonight. I just wanted to briefly talk about this. I, I pretty much explained everything that I've seen with my own two eyes and what I'm hearing on the outside, feel free to leave in the comment section. All right. Your opinions of what you, you, what you've seen going on and what you think that might be a distraction, feel free to share. Okay. Because this is what we need to do. All right. This is one of the main reasons they're getting rid of things like TikTok because they don't want us communicating and sharing it with each other the truth so we can help as many people out. Okay. Before something like this actually happens. So you guys have a good rest of the day. I will talk with you guys on the next live stream. I'll come back and we'll, we'll talk about the goody stuff. Okay. But for now, I, I felt like this was very important to talk about because this is one huge distraction and one day after another, different things are starting to unfold and we need to be aware of them. So you guys have a good rest of the day and I will talk to you guys on the next one. Peace, fellas.